Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another album review, and this time it's Steve Hillage live at the Bataclan in 1979. So I'll just give you a quick overview and a look at the package itself. This is Steve Hillage, uh, Bataclan, um, the 11th of December 1979, so... Yet another Christmas gig. I seem to review so many Christmas gigs across the decades. Um, this is a two CD set. Um, basically folds out into three panels. To great light pictures of Steve there. With all the tracks on the back. Which is from Mad Fish Records. And there's a small booklet inside it. Um, which, which basically the text is from Steve. Um, so he's talking a little bit about this recording. Um... And there's also some kind of detailed transcript of some of the on stage in French and English translations to some of the introductions to some of the songs, which is quite funny. Um, picture of the band in the middle. And then the full credits are on the outside of the back cover there as well. And I'll talk about the quality of the recording and what I think of it now. That's Steve Hillage, live at the Bataclan, 1979. Literally a Christmas concert from the 11th of December. Um, so what are my thoughts on this? Well, it's from Madfish Records. And I think it's marvellous that Madfish are releasing this on CD. Um, Madfish make impeccable box sets. And you've seen them on this channel, haven't you? These giant box sets of Wishbone Ash, Gentle Giant... Mot the Hoople, um, and Steve Hillage, although I don't have that one. And there's others as well waiting in the wings um, for, me, um, t for you to dip in and out of. But this has come out on CD, so it's great to know that the label is also investing in the CD format. And as I said, they have also been behind a very extensive Steve Hillage um, career-spanning box set. So this obviously was something that got missed, and Steve himself says in the sleeve notes um, that this was recently discovered. Now, many of you want to know what is the sound like? And I think that's a very good question because it says at the back, and the reason why I went straight to looking at the back of the, the, the little booklet was that when it starts, and it starts with Earthrise, and this is probably one of the few, if the only place where Earthrise exists on a live album, there's a kind of... To my ears, there was a little bit about wow flutter on Steve's guitar, and it made me think, where's this from? And it says all tracks recorded directly from the um, the mixing desk onto cassette. Okay, so this is from a cassette. Now, if you're thinking, oh, it's a bootleg, it isn't. Um, I have incredibly sensitive ears to bootlegs. Even though I have favourite bands like Purple and Zeppelin, if you came round to my house to look at my um, unofficial live recording collection, there'd be hardly anything there at all. I just, I'm just not interested in dodgy recordings or inferior bootleg recordings or people say, oh, listen to this, it's, it's one of their great performances, a bootleg audience recording, not interested. I just, I just can't, I just don't like them. This isn't that. Once we get past Earthrise, the sound, the, the sound kind of settles down and it's, it hasn't got the kind of dynamics of a fully blown authorised live recording. But remember, it's 1979, you know, so the the drums don't have that kind of expansive feel. Um, but it's a great live recording. My ears were there amongst it all very, very quickly. I also want to point something out, which is very interesting as well. Um, Steve says, when I listen now to this recording of our December the 11th, 1979 show, 44 years later... I feel a great deal of joy and power in the music. It seems that whatever issues I was having were being shoved out of the way by a strong transmission of the energy that had always been my motivation. The level of musical performance is pretty astonishing. And my lead guitar performance is definitely at a peak, totally scorching in places. Now, I find that interesting because Steve is quite a humble guy. Most guitarists don't talk like that. They don't say, oh, by the way, I, I sound bloody awesome on this album or something. Um, they kind of hope someone else will say that. So for someone to say my guitar playing is absolutely at its peak and it's totally scorching in places, 
you're setting yourself up, aren't you? But he's right. He's um, because the guitar solos on this album and what I love about Steve Hillage. I am of an age that I saw him several times um, in the 70s. And as as punk started to emerge across the landscape of uh, rock and prog and metal and everything, um, some people saw it as the enemy. Um, it was and. Steve Hillage wearing his with his beard and his woolly hat and um, obviously coming from Gong and the way everything about him, you know, the way his lifestyle, everything. He was seen as the last refuge for all of those music fans who wore Afghan coats and and, um, you know, and felt that you know, it was still really 1968, no matter what year it was really uh, they were really living in. Steve Hillage was there doing that but he was also like a sponge and quite a maverick in what he did and some of the you know i think it's the fire inside 1988 activator there's there's a lot of new wavy punky stuff on this with steve hillage doing his kind of absolutely intergalactic guitar playing over the top and obviously in the 80s steve became very involved with dance music and everything i think he was a, a true artist is someone that looks around what's going on around them and instead of seeing it's like oh, i don't do that they think how could i use that or incorporate that into what i'm doing and i think that is why steve hillage is still seen as being a universal musician that fits in everywhere um so instead of being seen as an old hippie he was seen as cool uh, by the very punks that were out there to destroy everything that had come before them um and now looking back at this this concert from 1979 there's some fine playing on here palm trees love guitar and of course the glorious om riff um is just fantastic as well but searching for the spark um it's all too much um great track the salmon song of course unidentified flying being i absolutely loved it and he's Steve is right, his guitar playing is scorching, absolutely fluid, beautiful playing, um, melodic, great vocals, ethereal, ambient music. Um, it doesn't, you can't compare with anyone else. It's Steve Hillage, live from 1979. So that's out now, Batclan, uh, the 12th, the 11th, sorry, of December, it was recorded. Give it a listen, it's out on two double CD. But I really, really loved it. And if you are a Steve Hillage fan, um, you'll want it in your collection. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Remember, music is the healer and a doctor. Please subscribe, share, like, comment. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video.